disrupt now. <laughs> Leaping lizards! I'm an acorn? Aviva, the creature power suits are going crazy! What? Fast power? Here? I heard about flying fish, but on the African savanna? This is ridiculous! Ah! I'm a walrus out of water! I'm a fish out of water! And that's worse! Fast powers are great for a lake habitat. Yeah, and walrus blubber is great for keeping warm in icy oceans. But here on the hot African savanna? <sighs> you don't want walrus powers. This vulture thinks I'm a fishy snack. Hold on, bro. <clears throat> I'm coming to the creature rescue. Oh, but not with two tons of walrus blubber. Ah! <clears throat> hey, Chris, did I hit the button? Chris? <clears throat> Speak up, bro. I'm not getting any of that. Yeah! Nailed it! Huh? Ah! <sighs> Walrus powers are no good on the African savanna. I'm powerless. Uh, Chris, a little help? <laughs> I still can't hear you! <laughs> Get off me! <gasps> oh! Why didn't you say so? Activate creature powers! Disrupt creature powers! Oh, oh no! Tree dwelling tarsiers don't swim! Too skinny! No flotation! These wings don't flap underwater! Too delicate! Designed for air! Let's just deactivate! Disrupt deactivation! No! <laughs> oh, I can't deactivate! Uh-oh, incoming! Baby crocodiles! Hey, it's Frederica Crunchella and Snappifer. I can't believe it! We're gonna be devoured by animals that you named! Not today, you're not! See that coming? I'm an acorn. I'm growing roots, a stem, leaves. I'm growing into an oak tree. dark before I spot a place to land. And still no sign of the bros. Aviva, you know what trouble those bros get into. We should find them. If they need us, they'll find a way to contact us. Besides, what kind of trouble can they get into with little squirrels and acorns? <laughs> Martin! 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 Martin, where are you? Uh, Chris? Hmm. I think you're standing on my face. Wow! Oh. Being a tree feels weird. Get me out of this. Oh. Where's the button? I don't know, but deactivate me. Ah, here it is. <laughs> it's stuck. What? You gotta go for help. Get help. Get help. Get help. Burry acorn? Burry acorn! Must burry acorn! Chris, I'm a tree. Go get help. I've just got to bury these first. Chris! I'm going. I'm going. I'll find Aviva to deactivate the suit. Uh-oh. 
There's a raccoon family moving in. They're clean, they're soft, but it feels like they're living in my ear. Hey guys, great to see you. I... Mm. A lot of fizzle. Electrostatic. Energy low. Give it a boost. Supercharging. Ah, oh, disc warped. <gasps> Realigning. Huh? Clear in the area. Uh -huh. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Remember how the creature power suits sometimes malfunction? Yeah. <laughs> how could we forget? Remember when you were flying and got fast powers? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. And remember when your oak tree powers suddenly deactivated? Whoa. <laughs> well, I think I can fix all that with what I call the ring chip. Whoa. That is so cool, Aviva. But I don't mind when the creature power suits malfunction. And it could be kind of fun. Yeah. <gasps> Aviva, some kind of lemur just stole your ring chip. <gasps> it will take a year of work to get back to where I was with that ring chip. You've got to get it back! Activate Chameleon Powers! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> what are you doing? on Ring Chip 2.0. Uh. <sighs> Don't worry, Blue Goggle. I'll help you find your troop, but it's so cold. I need your cold weather monkey powers first. Uh-oh, my creature power vest took a beating too, but I gotta try it anyway. Let's hope it works, Blue Goggle. Activate Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey Power! A creature power suit malfunction. Something must be really wrong with the suit size modulation. <laughs> but at least I'm a warm, snub nosed monkey, huh? A big one, but still a snub nosed monkey. <sighs> Come on, Blue Goggle. If we climb up on top of this mountain range, we might be able to flag down the Tortuga. They must be looking for us by now. <gasps> Why am I craving a big raw steak that's been left out overnight? Uh, yeah, because you're half Krat and half Tea Devil. No, I'm not. Look at me. I'm in control. 
<laughs> oh no, here we go again. Oh yeah, T-Bone, I smell that too. <laughs> Rotten carcass somewhere around here. <laughs> Gotta find it. <laughs> We can smell well from up here. Grrr, my nose seems super sensitive too. I feel like I could sniff out a rotting carcass from a kilometer away. Tebow, smells like it's coming from over there. Only young tea devils can climb trees. Not big Chris devils in totally out of control creature power suits. Relax, Martin. I'm fine. Nothing left but bones, and the tea devils are still munching. Look at all that good stuff inside. Bone marrow. That's nutritious food, if you can get to it. Yeah, not every animal has the tooth and jaw strength to bust open the bone and get to the marrow. But tea devils do. Hey, stop breathing on my neck. Ah! Your teeth are huge, and they're growing. <laughs> tea devil teeth never stop growing. Why? That's why. Chewing on hard bones wears them down. They need teeth that keep growing so they can crunch bones. You've got to deactivate him, Aviva. He's been driving me nuts. I had to do all the tagging. He wouldn't stop drooling on me. I can't do it if you keep moving around, Chris. Wait. Don't deactivate me, Aviva. I have tea devil powers. We're misunderstood creatures, but now I understand why. I could have the key to getting the others back. Ah, don't bite me. Come on, I, I'd never hurt you. I know we sound mean, but we're not. We don't hunt like predators. All we do is scavenge. We're nature's recyclers. I get it. When a tea devil eats a dead animal, it becomes part of the live animal. Like when I recycle old used parts into my newest invention. Eggs are ghastly. Martin? Aviva, I think we've had a slight creature power suit malfunction. Uh, Martin's disappeared. No, 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 I was afraid of this. Chris transformed into the adult stage of the lobster, but Martin, he could be in planktonic larval stage one, planktonic larval stage two, or maybe even three, or in the benthic stage. Uh, come again? Slow down, Aviva. Take a breath. <sighs> okay, okay. The lobster we all know, that's what Chris's power suit transformed into. But first, a mother lobster lays thousands of eggs which hatch into little lobster larvae, like this. These are planktonic, meaning they float in the water and are on their own the moment they hatch. Then the lobster larvae transforms into this. It doesn't really look like a lobster just yet, but then it goes into the benthic stage and it hides in the rocks on the sea bottom where it becomes a full-grown lobster. It's called the life cycle. Life cycles are so complicated to program. Martin's creature power suit must have malfunctioned and transformed him into one of those. Chris, Martin's teeny tiny. He must be floating in the water right around you. Do you see him? No, all I see is water. Wait a second. It's a slightly cloudy water with a greenish tinge. Of course, it's the planktonic soup full of tiny plants and animals. Martin's more than just mini. Martin's microscopic. Hello, anybody? Are you out there? Oh, great. My creature pod malfunctioned too. I have no communications. <sighs> okay, so I'm in a larval stage of the lobster. The only problem is lobster larvae apparently can't move. Well, actually I can move. It's just that I'm not going anywhere. And I'm too small to be seen. Chris, wait. I'm right here. Oh. Survival for a baby lobster is sheer luck. And a lobster larvae has to survive like this for five days? <gasps> There's activity in the creature power suit. <laughs> I've transformed out of planktonic stage three. I'm a microscopic lobster now. I hitched a ride in that monster lobster battle. I think the next stage of the lobster life cycle transformation is happening. <laughs> oh. <Whoa>. Oh. <laughs> 
All right, I've got full-grown lobster powers now, and I am ready for action. <laughs> <laughs> 